Hey, what is going on YouTube? So I just wanted to express my current feelings about Monix in this video. This is less of an update and more of a rant about something they have done which I am not particularly pleased about. So brushing aside the fact that the coin has gone down to 8 cents and um, you know, ignoring the fact that at the moment this platform is, it's nothing really. Um, I am going to focus on one issue which has come to my attention. Um, I just want to say as well, like, this is not, this isn't FUD, okay? And as part of a larger rent, people really need to stop misusing that term anyway. Um, being unhappy about a decision or something that a platform makes and voicing your opinion about it isn't automatically FUD. Um, it's just that, it's an opinion, okay? I'm not trying to spread fear or uncertainty or doubt. In all honesty, they've created all that themselves. So, anyway, getting into it. In my last video about Monix, um, back when they came out with this sudden announcement that they would be diverging their business into a crypto-based casino, I um, pointed out that by the time I heard about this and came to check it out on the website. They actually removed the news section, and uh, obviously all um, all announcements along with it. So they have since added that back in. You can see that here on the uh, menu bar at the top, and you can come into here and check out the announcements. And uh, I'll point out that that announcement has actually been removed. It would have fallen here um, because this one was made on the 8th of February. This one was on the 21st. Um, the, that announcement that they made came somewhere in between on around the, the 18th or 19th, I believe. So they have removed that. So as I mentioned in my previous video, you know, it's still up in the air as to whether or not they're even going down that route. Um, it all seems a bit strange to me. Um, but again, that wasn't what this video is about. This is about the announcement that you see in front of you here. So if you take a read through it, um, basically they mentioned that withdrawals are on hold because there was a bug. And essentially that bug meant that when people um, purchase Monix, um, they were credited the equal amount of Bitcoin um, into their account or something along those lines. Meaning that a huge amount of um, Onyx's funds were um, accidentally doled out to these people who then apparently quickly withdrew from their accounts so that it couldn't be taken back. So, you know, they put everything on hold whilst they looked into this and then came back with this apparent solution. Okay, so they've called it a haircut, which is ridiculous in itself. Um, basically, they're saying that they can't cover the loss themselves. So what they're doing is they are taking out 15% of all of our Monix or Bitcoin holdings to make up for this um, apparent exploit that a few users have done. So I'll now draw your attention to my Monix balance, which is currently 454. Now, if we go over to my channel, and check out the last video that I did about Monix. 
um, announcement. There we go. You can see here, I had 535 monarchs. Okay. Now, if we figure out what that minus 15% would be, so 535 times 0.85, it would leave me with 454, which is exactly what I have left here. So they have indeed gone ahead and I'm just going to say it, stolen money from me, whether that be considered as in terms of tokens or um, Bitcoin, you know, um, which is what I purchased it with, is besides the point. And they had no right to dive into that and take it to cover up their own problem. So, yeah, I'm pretty fucking pissed off. But, you know, hey, maybe I shouldn't be because at the end of the day, you know, 400 odd is just as worth just as little as 500 odd because this platform is gone to shit. And uh, in my honest opinion, they're not coming back. They may try, but um, I just don't think they can recover and uh, I mean this plays into a larger uh, pattern that we're seeing here with lending platforms as of late and um, yeah honestly I think um, Crypto Noof said it best in his um, video recently the lending space is dying guys whether you can accept that or not, whether you like it or not, I mean, I I think it's the truth. Um, I wish it weren't the case. I hope it's not the case. Um, I hope I'm wrong. And uh, I hope some of the platforms that I've invested in go ahead and uh, prove me wrong. But uh, as it stands, I have lost pretty much all my faith. Um, most definitely in monarchs, and largely in um, largely in the lending space as well, lending or staking. You know, whichever way you look at it, whatever you call it, it's the same thing, really. So even though this may have been done for the longevity of the platform to keep it afloat, you know, um, and I guess at the end of the day, <clears throat> if the worst came to the worst, I would rather they took a small amount. Um, from all of their investors in order to to do that and ensure the success of the platform. Um, in this situation, I really don't think it's right. 15% is, is just way too much anyway. And I really don't think at the end of the day it's going to make the slightest bit of difference to their success. And they could have at least had the decency to let their investors know via you know more used channels i.e telegram or email and not just hidden it away in this new section which i doubt many people come and look at so yeah i mean i just wanted to um <clears throat> bring that to everyone's attention um you know, I, I don't know how many people are actually aware of this. I'm surprised I've not seen any videos about it yet already. Um, but it, it wouldn't surprise me that um, the few people that may have already seen this um, decided not to do a video about it because they didn't want to be labelled as spreading FUD and all that bollocks. Um, but, you know, I'm here to to tell you the truth at the end of the day, not sugarcoat things. Uh, I'm here, here to show you what I'm doing with my investments, you know, my journey into um, crypto and lending and share updates and just the general goings on with these platforms and stuff.
and this is is one of those situations so i'm just sharing it with you this has happened i'm not making anything up make of it what you will um but i just thought i'd uh yeah quickly make this video <clears throat> just so that you were aware of the situation so yeah anyway rant over this doesn't mean that i'm necessarily not going to be investing in any more platforms that um, come around that i think look promising and may change the game uh, it just means that i'm not very happy with how monics have handled this and uh, yeah just my general feelings really but uh, as always guys thanks for tuning in and i will catch you in the next one